Wilderness is a great word. You might be tempted to call something a wilderness and it might not be a wilderness. It might be just wilderish. The wilderness family Robinson. Bunch of wild animals gonna eat you up. If you know what you're doing, it's all right. Just go out there and it's the most relaxing time of all time. You get away from all the hubbub. Get away from all this hubbub. Get away from all the hubbub of this traffic. Get away from all the migration going on day to day. Get away from all the noise and the pollution and the, all the people that want to get in a hurry all the time. Because I'll tell you one thing, people in cities, they really like to hurry. There's nothing out there in the wilderness going to make you do that. Bear that's going to come up and be like, oh, could you hurry up and build this house? Because you know what? I'm not going to eat you, but I just want you to hurry up. Now, the bears might be saying their own thing in their own bear language about the neighbor who just moved in and makes all the racket because you, uh, when you go out in the wilderness, you're actually taking a piece of their wilderness and turning it into a part of a city. I guess I don't need that much stuff. That's why I like the wilderness. Let me try some of this delicious Jelly Rancher drink. Uh, in my book, a wilderness is very large uh, to the point where you cannot just go around it in a day and a half. You have to go for weeks. I mean, maybe the ocean's a, a water wilderness. Well, there is so much traffic here that it makes me really want to be in the wilderness. There is traffic in the wilderness, it's just not this kind of traffic. Or they gotta fight to get through all these other ant colonies to get there on time and get their crumb to the queen. Get your crumb into the colony. What's your hurry, Clarence? Slow down there, Clarence. John the Baptist went into the wilderness, ate some bugs. Elijah went into the wilderness, got fed by some birds. Jesus went into the wilderness for 40 days and fasted. Look at all these cars. There's tail lights everywhere. There's tail lights in front of me, tail lights behind me, tail lights beside me, tail lights above me. There are tail lights everywhere. There's cars everywhere, and I don't like it. I'd rather be in the wilderness right now. The wilderness is a place where the trees, there are many, and the mountains, the montagna, they are very far around. I tried to be French and I failed. Now why are you gonna go ahead and pass me on the right hand side? You can see that this lane is ending and now you're just, can you imagine looking at a cat? If you're an ant, that's gotta be the most terrifying thing you've ever come across. Even more than a spider and spiders are bad enough. But to see, to look up and to see a giant fanged creature uh, just stick his little foot right on you and then the claws come down and your world collapses but because you're an ant and you're blessed with the thin light body you get smashed into the grass or wherever you're at and you survive but you still got a paw on your body completely surrounding you by fur and then you look up and the cat just looks at you and thinks well what is this thing i'm poking Maybe I'll just poke it again, and it just keeps on poking at you. Eventually, of course, it's gonna try to eat you. It might try, if you're the ant, all of a sudden you're in that thing's mouth. You got fangs on both sides, that tongue smells like cat food, and you're just about to go down into the gully of the beast. And then, and then because it's a cat, that cat might just go, oh, whoopsie whoops, and drop you out of its mouth just to toy with you. You fall on the ground. You think maybe I'll take a little run away from here. I'm a little soggy with the cat saliva, but maybe I'll just run away a little bit and try to survive. But no, the cat is just going to giggle gabble, giggle gabble you up again. And then here you go up inside his mouth again. You grab onto his fangs and hold on for dear life because you don't want to die. But you're gonna die because I'm sorry you're an ant. And the cat is just gonna keep messing with you once he found you until you've been eaten. And then the cat's probably just gonna puke you up later in a big old ball of grass that it didn't, uh, that it shouldn't have ate earlier on, but it did anyway. That's not a pleasant end for an ant. And I don't remember why we brought this up, but all I'm saying is if you're an ant, stay away from cats. Run! If you see a cat, you might run. If you see two directions, one's got a spider and the other one's got a cat, you might want to choose the spider because at least the spider's going to put some numbing venom into you. I hope so. Or maybe it's just going to chomp you into little bits. But it's going to go fast. It just don't mess with the cat. Cats are psychopaths. Cats are psychopaths. Anyone who's ever known, owned a cat knows that. Cats are crazy. Uh... I don't think we need to prove that anymore. Cats are crazy. Just take a look at one. 
take a look at any cat. I know they're cute little creatures. They're cute little creatures that'll kill you if you're an ant. They're cute little creatures that'll take a take a take a puke right on your carpet when you ain't looking. They'll swallow a string for no reason, and then you'll have to. They'll come home, and that cat will be nice and sleepy, curled up right next to a puked up string all over your couch. That's what cats gonna do to you. That's all I'm saying. You gotta watch out for cats. Cats are crazy. Cats are psychopaths. A dog's crazy in a different way. A dog is a crazy optimist who, uh, he refuses to be sad. Oh, what is that truck doing? What are you doing there, Jerry? Come on there, Sala, Sala, Manila. What are you doing there? Wilderness. Somehow we got from wilderness to a cat eating an ant. And that's all right, because that's kind of the point. This commute has been sponsored by Schmurro Trips because I paid for the gas, I paid for the camera, and I paid for 